Well, we are standing in the exhibition, Picasso Sculpture, and we're in the last gallery of a show that includes some 150 sculptures. It is the last, first actually, and last time that a group of work of this size has been seen in the United States in over half a century. His sculptures are made from everything, you could practically say from the kitchen sink onto bronze. His whole project throughout the career is to break down distinctions between things like sculpture or painting or printmaking and to see how they all could inform each other. And that's part of that kind of genre defying impulse is what makes the sculpture such an incredible body of work. One of the reasons that Picasso's sculpture is such an unfamiliar aspect of his practice is that he kept them with him for much of his lifetime, refusing to part with them despite entreaties from dealers or private collectors. And so it really was only with his death and the settlement of his estate, at which time a selection was made to begin the core collection of the Musée Picasso in Paris, that the sculptures sort of left the studio of Picasso and began their public life. I think that you will never see this particular group of objects brought together again in your lifetime.